Hello everyone, it's Bad Mama Fossil 4 here. We're going to make some hamburger and tater tots. I just washed all the celery. Always wash your vegetables, please. Your lettuce, if you get a head of lettuce, take the outer layers off. Um, you can rinse, you cut it up and rinse it if you're going to use the whole head. If you use dark green leafy lettuce, wash it off. Just give it, give everything a good rinse off. Just do it. Alright, we got the hamburger over there cooking. I don't throw this part of the celery away. I use it. With the real white part, and always the part like this, that's real tender. I cut it off. And I eat it. I think I always have. garlic I've never been very good at doing this so excuse me well that wasn't too bad I love fresh garlic this is the part I hate though getting all the skin off of it. That's another thing that I always have. I've always eaten the delicate, tender part of the celery and ugh, I have always hated the skin part of fresh garlic. <coughs> I know you can say, well, then why don't you buy the already cut up kind in a jar? Well, this is cheaper for one. For two, I don't know. I just buy the whole clothes. That's not to say I'll never buy the kind in the jar already cut up. Because I might someday. I don't know. Um, oh, another thing. Wash your cans off, whether it be soda pop or soup cream of soups. Give it a good rinse. Could even use a little bit of soap, just a tiny bit. 
read an article somewhere several years ago about um, uh, cans. They were soda pop cans in warehouses and how the rats in the warehouse run across them and they get feces and urine and whatnot on them. Don't be so darn trusty, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, just because you grab a soda, and we, we are all guilty of it. We're all guilty of it. Grab a soda, you're thirsty, that soda sounds really good to you. Crack it open, start drinking it. I try really hard. I don't really drink soda anymore, but <clears throat> if I do, try to grab a tissue, paper towel, something. I'll even use the inside of my shirt. Yeah, I know, but whatever. I do. And I will wipe it off that way. You know, get, get, up, get up in these ridges real good. You know, even though I eat fresh garlic and onion, I will still put some garlic powder, garlic onion powder and garlic powder. Ugh, I can't even talk right. I'm paying too much attention to what I'm trying to do here. I put powdered garlic and powdered onion in as well as, as the fresh, is what I was trying to say. Oh, no blood. It did hurt. Now, if you like to spice it up and everybody that's going to be eating your food, go lay down. And everybody that's eating your food likes spiciness. Like, I have some jalapenos in the fridge that I'm dying to use. But, um, my daughter's not crazy about the jalapenos, so I can just slice them up. And add it to mine afterwards. But if whoever's gonna be eating it like spicy, then by all means add some jalapeno, you could add a little cayenne pepper. Hold on, I'm getting some milk. Don't ask me how much I put in, because I don't measure it. So right now we're at a couple hairs less than a half a can. And this is a 10.5 ounce can. All right, that's not gonna be enough. Go ahead and put in another half, so we're up to One whole can. Mix this up. Now I have some Italian spice left over from the Mike's pizza. 